Greetings everyone, CCX here. Welcome back to the Wario Land Alternate Chapter 2 Pathway of Wario Land 2. Now it's time for us to storm the castle. And, wow, this is a very different design than what I thought it was going to be. This is not... Yeah! Remember when I said that these levels are starting to be more, um, starting to be different? Yeah, this is when it actually starts to be different. So yeah, remember this first level, that grass level that we were just doing? Nah, man. Now we are cool. Now, this is Wario's castle. And I gotta say, Mario, man, you got yourselves a sweet deal with this, man. I wish I was able to steal random treasures from Captain Syrup. To be honest, though, you kind of deserve this on you. You kind of put this on yourself for literally staying asleep throughout the entire endeavor. I mean, you know, it, it, it is what it is. It, it's what's going to happen to you, dude. And, you know, you can't blame me. I, I was trying to wake you up, but you just chose not to. So now, now you must suffer. <laughs> but to be honest, though, why did she throw him out of the castle, though? I don't, I don't really understand that. It doesn't really make any sense. If you think you just kill him. But then again, she's a pirate at heart. That's it. I mistakenly got hit by those guys. You guys know those, those blocks up in the sky? Those blocks are going to be important. Very, very soon. They're going to be important, like, probably right now. Yeah, there's a switch here that ends up unlocking in... Unlocking Wario, some sections of Wario's castle, which we, of course, need to traverse through. But then again, that's neither here or there. Neither here or there. Uh, what are you gonna do? As of this point, though, each and every single level ends up now becoming unique. And I did not mean to fall down there. Actually, what's over here? Probably nothing. Uh, let's see. Ah, it seems to be a lot of pans. You can tell now that the interior of this level of Warriors' Castle is being slightly changed. For the worse or for the better. Whichever it is, it's not really good. And Captain Syrup is making it into her own type of area. And god damn it, we can't have that because she's getting on our last amount of nerves. But not really, to be honest. I think Captain Sir, I think Captain Sir and Wario are very good rivals. And that's another thing, though. I mean, Wario Land. The last time you meet Captain Sir, it's in is in Shaken. That's the last time you see her. I mean, I understand why she's not in Wario Land Three and Wario Land Four because you're technically taking care of different entities at that point. But my other question is this. Why on earth do we not have the capability of seeing Captain Syrup anymore? I don't understand that. Like, shouldn't we be able to still see her anyways? Because she's like, her and Wario basically have the, this very huge dynamic against each other. They're both greedy, they both want money, and they both are practically, well, anti-heroes, to be honest. And, you know, it makes sense why, you know, you want to go ahead and make Wario be able to be the hero of this story, but he's actually not, because he still is the anti-bad guy of the game, but the main purpose is, is that they're both, they're, they both are in sync, Wario has himself a rival, one that likes treasure just as much as he does, because the main reason why he ends up going to the pyramid is because of the treasure that has, that the treasure has to offer. And the thing that disappoints me about this is that they don't do that anymore in, um, in, um, other Wario Land games. It's just, I just don't like it to the fact that Wario Land is, what the hell was that? Someone was banging for a second. Anyways, I just don't like the fact that, hey, this is where the, um, sink level was, um, located. Anyways, I don't like the fact that Wario Land is just subjugated to minigames. And some people might disagree with me, and some people might say, Oh, the Wario Land, the Wario games with um, minigames are pretty, pretty interesting. And it's like, yeah, for the most part, but people who have grown up with Wario Land kind of misses the charm that it used to have. Mind you, don't get me wrong, Wario Land, Wario, the, Wario, the, Wario, the WarioWare games do have charm. They really, really do. Okay, that's not where we want to go. <laughs> it's like, hey, it's not where we want to go. My god, there's like a lot of stuff in here. 
this is, this, this is going to be hell. Uh, they give you a lot of coins for a reason. One, to rack up a lot of coins in general in your total bank. And the other purpose is because, you know, Wario's greedy. Wario also has a lot of money. Then again, why is Wario's bank all scattered all over the place? That's another thing. <laughs> That's the real reason that we should be asking questions, ladies and gentlemen. But, who cares? We do not ask questions about Wario's manufacture. In fact, we don't really ask questions, period, because you're playing as a... Uh, I highly doubt that he's Italian. I'm pretty sure he's probably not. He's probably just... He's just... He's just Wario. He's just Wario in name only. Anyways, you want to go through here so you can be able to actually find the bonus stage. Yeah, I do know what the bonus stage is. Please be the bonus stage so I don't look like an idiot. Oh, thank God. <laughs> it's like, please. Oh, by the way, you guys are probably noticing. Why am I not going through the entire level? Because, well, for one, the levels will be really, really long. And I'm going to actually start, I'm going to start doing this for a lot of the levels now. Uh, I, once I get 200 coins, my goal is to always just find the bonus stage, and then after that, I'm just leaving the stage as is, because if I spend my entire time in these levels, it will really, really take me a long time in completing the game, and also a long time, it will be like, these levels will be just one part in itself, and the thing is, I only did that for the first half of the game, for the rest of the half, nah, I'm not doing that for the rest of the half again, the because then at that point, I'm wasting your time, I'm wasting my time, and it's just gonna be an entire waste time slugfest, and I don't really want that to happen, I want this game to, I want this game to be ended, I want it to end, I don't want it to drag out, but it already needs to, trust me, nobody wants, nobody wants this game to be dragging out for, for longer, for, for more than it has to be. Because then at that point, then you're not really a let's play. You're the only let's play because you got no, you got no style. I mean, don't get me wrong. I do like Warrior Land, but I actually prefer to just play this game on my own time, you know? If I'm going to go ahead and search around the entire place, I'd rather do that on my own time, not during the LP time. Alright, let's just get back up there and end up slipping through that pathway so we can actually just level. All these level coins. It's a good thing that they, there's no 100% for collecting every single coin. Can you imagine that, though? Which kind of makes me wonder, what's the point of the treasures now? Because that's something that we need to collect, but I don't understand it. Like, what do we need to... I keep messing this up. This, this is, this is terrible. Alright. Maybe this is going to be a little bit longer than it needs to be. <laughs> well, it's also a good thing that I actually went the right direction and not the wrong direction. Okay, I think I know what I need to do. Let's bash this guy in the head. And let's get crushed. Again. And now we just slip through. There we go. Uh, I don't know why that took me longer than it's supposed to. It wasn't really that hard. Anyways, that is the end of the second half of the Chapter 2 level. And now we just go ahead and let the game go as follows. We don't really need that, please. Okay, blank. 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 Please don't be a seven. Yes! Thank you! Not a seven. Booyah! I love it when the plan comes together. Yeah. Alright, let's go ahead and star ourselves the next level, shall we? As soon as the save's complete. Oh, I keep forgetting. I always gotta do that. Chapter 2. Defeat the Giant Spearman. Hey, you guys remember him, right? Yeah! Hey, the door is locked. Eh, I guess we're finally inside Warriors' Castle. Wow, this place awfully looks familiar, too. This looks like the area that we fought the gigantic clock or something. <gasps> no. <laughs> yeah, all these levels just start to look the same now. Well, then again, it has to be the same, because at this point, we're now in Warriors' Castle. So, yeah. Also notice that there's a lot of pathways. Ah, oh, great. This isn't good. <laughs> this isn't good. Alright, oh, woo, woo. Very clever, Captain Syrup. Getting this guy trying to stop me. Ah, you're funny. 
Actually, wait, there's no point for him to be there. What the? Okay, this room is useless. Well, at least I know that there's, um, useless rooms. So it kind of wants me, I want to go back now, because I want to see if that room is also useless too. Alright, let's go through this door. The flames actually indicates what, how, how many, um, areas you're in. Okay. Yeah, you're not as bad as the other enemies that I end up meeting in later on. And this room is number three. Oh boy. Huh. It's something tells me this level is going to be one of those levels, isn't it? <laughs> oh, crap, the ice guys. I am not a big fan of those guys. Because they, because the thing is, they don't do anything in terms of this version of the game. They do do stuff in the sequel, but not in this one. Okay, I'm going to need... I'm going to need one... I'm going to need you back, my icy friend. Come to me. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ah, thank you. Your services has... That's it? Wow. How boring. Yeah, that's what's over here. And, alright. Seems there's just a bunch of these, and that's it. You think that there should be a spring guy here, but... Wait, hold on. My Metroid senses are tingling. Okay, my Metro senses are t are deceiving me. Never mind. <laughs> huh, how do I get the rest of those? Isn't there? There's no spring guy over here. There's nothing here. Now I think about it, that's kind of wait. Hold on. Time out. Pause. No, nothing. Hmm. It's a lot of pathways and a lot of non-existing areas. I'm not really a big fan of that. Do I really want to go this way? Oh, wait, no, I don't want to go this way because Mr. Douchebag is over there. Yeah, you, you, you get this, guys? By the way, that's not. this is not the last time we're going to be fighting that guy. We're going to be seeing him again. <sighs> yeah, he's yeah he's a recurring boss. <laughs> he's basically... Ooh, you go away. I'm not a big fan of you because you're probably like the only enemy that will be able to attack me. And like I said before, you do not have to worry about secret path. Secret. Well, you know, I thought I was playing a Wario game, not a Pokemon game, but apparently I'm playing that too. Uh, stay tuned to the Pokemon Let's Play. <laughs> oh, man. Actually, no, I'm actually being totally serious. Please stay tuned for the Pokemon Let's Play, because it will be coming. Just not yet, to be honest. I don't know when. I don't know when. I'm not entirely sure when it's gonna happen. But it will happen. It will. Okay, this is annoying. This is actually more annoying because of the fact that if you accidentally um destroy any of the blocks, you're kind of you kind of screw yourself. And my question is, no, they do not come back, which is actually a little bit problematic. Which means that if I screw up any of the sections of these blocks, I can potentially screw myself out of the big coins. Okay, um, Royal, this is a very weird room. I made this room so that I can know where to block everybody in my pathway. Royal, that makes some sense. You don't have any interior decorator. You're right, I really don't, because this is stupid. This is really, really dumb. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need you to come down here. Thank you. Alright, and this is actually how you get this. Also, the reason why this level is a little bit longer than it should be is because I'm also looking for the bonus room, which is probably not in this direction, because as of right now, we just keep finding, um, coins. Which, you know, don't get me wrong, I can use these coins after the mass amount that I had to lose in the other stage. Oh, you are like the devil of, you're like the devil advocate. You're very, very bad. I do not like you. Come over here, because I know you're going to keep attacking. Oh, damn it. You junk. Okay, I'm just going to pass by you. So that's how you go ahead and fight Wario? You just leave? Yeah, I, I don't need to fight you if I don't need to. Alright, so we want to go through this way. And then we want to pass by the punching guy here. So that's so like the only enemy here, so I'm just going to leave him alone. And we're going to pat... Whoa! Okay, so now she's setting up the big boys. 
Oh, okay, so... Ah, I found it! Okay, good. I can leave the level now. Thank God. <laughs> and easy. Again, because why not? Easy is always easy. Easy is always easy. Hmm. Ah, there you are. I almost missed him for a second. Alright, and our charter for today is a Yoshi's egg. Yoshi's Yoshi egg. What did I say Yoshi's? Yeah, it's a, it's a <laughs> plural. Ah, it's this section with the block, the um, walls that these guys can climb in, but I can't for some reason because I do not have the capability or the or the magic boots that whatever these guys have. I'm not evil enough apparently. And that, that's what that catwalk reminds me of. It reminds me of that I am not evil. I do not have the capabilities of being evil enough. Which is actually really kind of stupid now that I think about it. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Sorry, Wario. You're not evil enough to pass by. Why did I jump into him? Also, don't jump into him either because you will take damage from his spike ball. Because, you know, obviously, how the hell do I get up there? You know what? I don't even care. I'm leaving this level. I already got what I want. Even though, to be honest, why is there a treasure that's in Wario's section? And, see, look at that. That bird just seems so worried. I, I feel sorry for him. Almost feel sorry for him. I'm not, I'm not fully sorry for him. Okay, we came here, and there was nothing we can do. At least to my knowledge. If somebody can figure that out, then go right ahead. Because right now, it's time to fight this guy again. Except I'm gonna pass by him, and I'm gonna go this way. Okay, this is not where we go. And this is how you, this is this is the pathetic, most easiest boss ever because you don't really have to do anything. He does end up causing crashing downs and whatnot, but that's really about it. Once you collect your coin, you're pretty much done. <laughs> Screw you, spear dude. And we got ourselves a Yoshi's egg. Hmm. Now let's see what we got. We got a bunch of lines, a bunch of other lines, more lines. It seems, yes, it is. It's an eight. Watch it be a nine. Eh, it wouldn't make any sense if it was a nine, because it's not really much of a really good tell that's a nine. Anyways, that's the end of this part of Wario Land 2. In the next episode, we'll be taking on what is probably almost a few final chapters. Let's see what we got. Go through the Grand Hall. Yeah, we're almost done. Anyways, guys, I've been CCX, and we'll see you guys next time. CCX, over and out.